I'm selling my house. Are you paying for staging? No, I'm the realtor. I don't pay for staging. You're the seller. You pay for staging. But the other realtors I interviewed said they're paying for staging. So what's up with that? Well, that's a great question. It's a question I get all the time. So let's unpack that. This is Taya's Two Cents. I get this question all the time. Who is responsible for staging? And I'm gonna unpack it for you, but first I wanna preface it with, I have a lot of real estate agents that follow me on this page, and I know you guys are gonna have a difference of opinion. I know a lot of you market yourselves as, you know, packaging, staging into the entire equation. And if you have a difference of opinion, come at me in the comments. Let's get a conversation going. But let's get back on track. Here is why I will never pay for staging. I will never do it, and here's why because the risk is all on the realtor if they pay for the staging. If the seller decides that they don't wanna sell the house anymore, well now the realtor's out $10,000. And that's just on, you know, like a decent sized place here in Los Angeles. That staging could be upwards of $20,000. It, it's craziness, okay? And here's another reason. If you think about how if the seller pays for the staging, and let's just call it 10,000 for some round numbers, right? And the house is worth, I don't know, $3 million here in Los Angeles. If that home sells for 50 grand more, which it's likely to sell for 50 grand more if you have some good staging in there, that $40,000 is gonna be made by the seller. They had a $10,000 investment on staging and they just made 40 grand. And guess what? If you do the math on the commission, the commission between a house that's worth $3 million and $3,050,000 is not that much. The realtor makes maybe an additional $1,250. Okay? Maybe if their commission's 2.5%. So that risk does not equal the reward. If for some god awful reason the seller decides not to sell, the realtor is up creek, if you know what I mean. But if the seller pays for the staging and they have a fallout with the realtor, well, guess what? They still have the staging. They can hire someone else and nobody really gets screwed, okay? So sellers, if you're listening, your staging should be something that's just part of the prep equation. You're painting, you're cleaning, you're staging. It's part of that investment number. And for the realtors out there, if I'm really messing up your game, I'm sorry. This is just my two cents. But seriously, let's talk about it in the comments. If it works for you, I'm curious. I, really, I, I wanna pick your brain. So comment below, don't forget to subscribe, and I will see you next time. Bye for now.